Hello, educators. Welcome to Schools Winning Grants. I'm Rodney Walker, your host, and I'm happy to have you for another episode, the bonus episode. We're going to be helping you to do a more effective job in securing grants for your school, your district, and all of those educational institutions out there that are trying to get funded. That's what this show is all about. And even though we haven't officially launched yet, I'm going to be sharing some information with you on today, some bonus information, just to kind of help you get a chance to know me a little bit better and why this show and why you should be listening to the show. In fact, I've already talked in some of the previous episodes about why every single principal should be dialed into this. We've also done an episode about why every single teacher should be dialed in. I, I even did an episode about parents dialing in. Heck, I might do one about parakeets. Do you have a parakeet? We might need to get your parakeet on the team as well. But today, I'm going to be speaking especially to our superintendents. Yes, our wonderful superintendents. You know, you guys definitely don't get enough pats on the back. A high stress job, a very important job, mind you. And I've had a chance to interview a number of superintendents and you guys really help to keep things going. But the job is a very stressful job. And oftentimes you guys are front and center and sometimes wrongly given the blame when the school doesn't raise as much money as it needs to through taxes and all the other things and all the other plans that are out there. And I want to say that I've had some times of working very closely with superintendents and seeing some of the stress that comes with being in that role. So first of all, I just want to say to you, Thank you for the work that you do. You know, I was at a superintendent symposium and just hearing some of the stories and seeing some of the hard work that goes into being a superintendent. You know, you guys deserve a round of applause and a pat on the back. So just know that I appreciate you. And I want to say that one reason that this show exists is to maybe help you to do some things that you maybe are not doing that you probably should be doing, that you just aren't aware that you should be doing because you have so much on your plate. And yes, you have to run a whole school district, a lot of different people, the teachers, not just the teachers, the parents, not just the parents, but all of the principals, you have your hands full. And so we can't expect you to know everything about everything. And that's why I'm gonna be coming over here with the show to highlight some things that can keep you abreast of what you might want to do in regards to grants. Because if we can help you to bring some more funds to your school and help you to do some other things, maybe smarter, it can help everybody because your role is so pivotal in helping all the other pieces to function correctly. And that's another reason. Another reason that I think is really important for you as a superintendent to dial in is because you, once we get you on track in this whole fundraising grant thing, you don't have to write all of the grants. You just have to be able to direct and get your people the insight that they need so that they can begin to be the foot soldiers and bring in funding. I never will forget one school it was a charter school and this charter school in particular was a small charter school but this charter school ended up amassing a large amount of money the same amount that some of the other larger school districts had raised but what was the main difference was that the principal of this charter school he had a game plan and even though he was smaller and his school was much less they, in terms of resources, they had, let, uh, I can't even begin to tell you, so much less than some of the other larger school districts that were around. But the thing that turned everything around was the fact that this principal had a game plan and he was able to compete in terms of grants with the larger school district because he had a game plan. And what am I saying to you, Superintendent? If you 
can simply get a game plan in this area, you will be able to not only compete with other schools and districts, but you can begin to soar because you have a game plan. I believe there's a quote that comes from, I'm not sure if it's Benjamin Franklin. Somebody Can somebody find this quote for me and let me know? The quote says something along the lines of this. No, you know who it was? It was, I think it was Albert Einstein. Well, whoever said it, maybe Warren Buff, one of, one of those smart people out there said the following, that a fool with a game plan will beat a genius without one every time. Now, it didn't, they didn't say it exactly why I said it, but you get the essence of what I'm trying to say. Go look the quote up on, on Google. Google's your friend. It can help you to get the exactness of the quote. But the point is, we want to get a game plan because if we don't have a game plan, we're planning to fail. And that's another reason for the show. The show is designed to keep you from failing and designed to help you start winning more. And if you can come and hang out for about 10, 10 12 minutes or so, or even eight minutes, sometimes I'm keeping the show really short, but other times we may go a little bit longer. But if you can come over and just get one concept, one idea that can help you to be more effective in your grant funding game and in your grant pursuit, then we win. And when I say we win, I mean our schools and our district win. So if we can empower you with more information, Mr. or Mrs. Superintendent, then we make better communities. And, and that's what this show is about. If I can help you to empower your school, which is like its own community, we win. Our schools win. You win. The principals win. The parents win. We, we all win. And that's what I want to see happen. So if you haven't, I'm going to encourage you right now. Go over to Apple Podcasts or to Google Podcasts, Spotify, maybe even YouTube, and simply subscribe. You can always hear the show at schoolswinninggrants.com. But I want to give you that extra boost and help you to win. So try subscribing to one of those. And if you have some parents or some teachers or some principals that are not familiar with grant writing, I have a free course. Yes, absolutely, F-R-E-E. -E. Have them go take a look at it. I'm doing a special training over at becomeagrantwriter.com. Yes, becomeagrantwriter.com. Sign up, come hang out with me this evening, and I'll share some information with your team to help them get pointed in the right direction. Now, some of you need more handhold. I know you need more, more development, and you need more grants written in a way that's gonna help you to get funded, and you don't have time to waste. Feel free to reach out to my team and I. We're here to help you. We believe in you. So remember, be brave, be bold, be brilliant. Take charge, and I'll see you soon.